Well, here we are back again in the quote-unquote man cave. And today's topic is snowblower porn. Oh, got your attention, huh? God, I'll get you for that one. <laughs> Never mind, just a, just a little tickle to loosen you up there. It's all, uh, it's all good here. <laughs> and today's, uh, today's topic is our snowblowers. And this uh, example is a 45-inch uh, Yardman uh, example, and these were made in several different, if you will, liveries for white and MTD and Craftsman and Cub Cadet and um, Troy Built and geez, a, a myriad of others with their badge on it, so to speak, in different colors. Mainly sold 20, 25 years ago in the big box stores, and these things were eye candy or or snow porn, so to speak. We either set the hook walking in and when you saw it and and stopped life and the planet stopped revolving and you said to yourself oh my god or you passed it by it depends on the individual and yeah i uh, i made some enhancements with this kind of a tim allen type of a thought hey what are you doing in there getting off or something no i'm turning my crank watch I'll, and and that and, and i'll show you how to turn the chute from the right to the left you just turn this crank oh, i want it for something a little bit more elegant and I found that elegant in a GM, just a piece of shit GM power window motor with a nail and ferrule barrel, a coupling, if you will, and and sputted a cotter pin in there. And this has to move on its uh, on its axis, doesn't it? And there's a little bolt in there to hold it, and it moves freely uh, to to articulate that chute to to get that grace, if you will, and and not be in there looking like you're making taffy or something. And, and while you're turning, your chute's turning with you because when you pilot the thing, all you need to do is, is uh, yeah, press a, press a toggle switch. So later, there's a light on the thing, and, and uh, some of the better variations had a heavier lighting coil, we'll call it, in the motor. And that big motor, or an alternator, if you will, is get a battery. And I got a battery for a little Amigo cart uh, at a hospital supply place, you know, those little carts there were called amigos and hung it on the side and got a put a diode in series there's some there's some text with regard to what's going on there anyway so you don't spike the alternator to run that power window motor and after that in in uh, an afterthought you know let's light up the night i made the factory light up there on the console blue pretty neat at night and then look at embellish the thing with LEDs, which are wonderful because they literally sip current. I think if I recall, if I had a meter in series, there was a look at right over the auger housing. <laughs> there was about 1.3, maybe 1.4 amp draw with this, which is gravy. Gosh, that's nothing literally at all. And uh, a little relay, you know, to close that uh, to close that load up and. Uh, and turn that uh, line and load side on, so to speak, and then even up on the cab, you know? So quickly, doesn't it, the setting changes. Instead of you nearing the road and looking up for cars, you'll find uh, in most instances that the cars are stopped and wanting you to go by and go out in the middle of the road, often out the door with their phone recording you or something. <laughs> hey, let me see that thing. What the hell? Where did you get that? So it is a conversation piece. And, you know, you see these on YouTube here as a quick afterthought. And most of the time, people are trying to exploit their potential, I'd call it. Again, opinions are many, here's mine. You don't need to mule wrestle this thing. It has a grace all its own. It weighs almost 500 pounds. Let the machine work at its own pace. Take half rows. Use the proper gear range. Let the machine eat at the snow. Yap some PAM spray on the chute or the auger housing. Maybe some PB blaster and a pinch some WD-40. Keep it greasy, slimy, smooth to work in those different uh, snow conditions. And, you know, all the grace and ambience of the big Goliath is all there in check is the point. And, uh, yeah, you two can and enjoy operation and when i'm not using it in the winter i'm using it in the summer what do you mean what are you talking about oh i put a couple of old tires on the front and i push my cars in my shop with them when i get cars in on a wrecker or as we call it a hook the things up it's just a, it's just a, that's it it's a goliath it'll do anything and you know i exploit its full use you know in all measure 
But yeah, you know, when someone comes over, what the hell? <laughs> oh, didn't you see that? <laughs> And it works. It works. Uh, most are are in want of one, and you see them, don't you, everywhere on uh, on Craigslist and uh, Facebook Marketplace or whatever in the classifieds. There, there are quite a few still around. So yeah, it's a it's a pretty neat example. It's a it's a nice machine, and you know for what it is and all its OSHA compliant stuff. Uh, you know you do need to look after things. There's a universal here. This one's rather large and brawny, but I did put a zerk there, and I hit it from time to time. The, the old uh, phrase, it's filthy with grease, is the, is the way to say it, and that's no exception here, and I, I stay after it in that regard. And Anyway, just have a, have a lot of fun with, uh, with the right snow, and uh, don't you? You know, you go over the neighbors, you go out in the road in front of the mailbox. Is this all there is? And pretty soon before you know it, you're, you're ready to put your Donald Trump sticker on the side because it's saying, hey, taffy-turning crapola machines, you better look out. You don't want any part of this, you know? This thing is put up or shut up. And, and it, it uh, it will it does and uh, gee I bet you can't guess who I voted for in that in that regard and it is put up or shut up it means business and that's what I like uh, you know no no panty wastes no pussyfooting around so it is uh, it is real nice and I uh, and I like it so it was a nice Christmas and uh, my boys all got together you know I never told anybody maybe but I'm a Lauren Hardy addict and my favorite Lauren Hardy shirt was tote was a clip called Toad in a Hole look at it. And look at my kid had made for me. Tom's Junkyard. Anything from a needle to a battleship. Bought, bought sold, and exchanged. <laughs> and uh, I just couldn't believe it. And that old uh, and that old fashioned sign on my 1879 uh, built tool shed. So life is good. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to rate and comment. Take good care. I'm Tommy Z.